full of pain, girl, the wine You can call me Whitney, I go to hell, man This is more bad, it's more school, the bad is more pain Excuse me, let me put my bodies in my lane When you was in New York, you was fucking a Yankee I was fucking with bass, I was pitching a Frankie These bitches so cranky, give them a hanky No money, I'm Paul, give me my blanky Fly it in the cake, I can't lay it in my blanky There's no way, I'm a pain, I'm a bungee What's up, my beautiful baby case? It's your girl Key, your favorite oracle on the two, and we're back with another Metaphysical Monday message, guys. And this particular message, we are going to split it in half and pull charms later. We're going to touch on the divine masculine and divine feminine energies up to date and we're also going to get you a seven day prediction this is a timeless message so it's meant for you at the time that you find it please keep in mind that i'm a sugar free reader so oftentimes i'm not going to tell you what you want to hear but i'm always going to tell you what you need to hear with that being said if you find this video to be entertaining amusing at all give this video a thumbs up like share comment subscribe if you would like a personal reading i do offer those link is below in the description box as I was pre-channeling for you guys, I got a message of, for one, just, I heard a mass, like, Amber Alert, like, missing children. For my parents out there, please make sure that you are, for a lot of you guys are saying if you can pick your children up from school, do that. If you could eliminate a trade-off, there may be too many people that are in the process of getting your kids home. For those of you where that applies for, say for instance, for those of you where you have a child and sometimes you pick up your kids from school, but sometimes someone else's does, I feel a strong message of protection. Maybe that needs not to not happen anymore. You may need to reevaluate some of these people because for trigger warning, I'm seeing there being potential instances where assault could take place for someone in their child. I was getting it in the pre-channel message, just random. But moreover than that, I was getting an energy of a uh, lots of amber alerts of kids being missing, but they were saying this is for ritualistic purposes. And I do want to warn those who are partic particularly involved in this because it feels like a a mess. It feels like a really big, it feels like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like what people say, Illuminati and shit like that, but I don't think it's Illuminati. I think it's different than that. I feel like it's a, a spiritual warfare that is heavy. You might even see it with people manifesting in a physical reality, but I feel like in the ether, this is what is taking place. That tells me is that a lot of people here who are sending up with negative energies, and because I feel called to take all of my left hand work off my website moving forward until further notice before I even channel this message. But it feels like that there is karma. And some of these people, it could be in a metaphorical sense, your kids are going to like reap with you. That's a message for someone out there. For those of you who, who have daughters who may have started their ministry early, or some of that may be the case, someone here has a mature daughter. And I'm saying this in a sense where I, it's a very sensitive topic, but there's someone here who is watching. And I would just encourage all of you guys who have children to ask them why they're like what they're feeling, what they're going through. Make the conversations as easy as possible regarding the birds and the bees and boundaries and creating a safe space for people to come and talk to you about these emotions regarding people making them feel uncomfortable. That's very that's very important in the next seven days, especially. Moreover, than that, I also saw a train that was being shot at by these lightning bolts by angels, but it wasn't in an attacking way. It was almost like to mark it, and it was almost like it's like a, it, it felt protective. That's the way I was perceiving it because everything behind it was crashing down. And I heard you have been forewarned. So again, some of you guys, you resonate with last week's message. There was someone here who popped up. Just tried to stir up the pot and maybe even came over came on like her braggadocious someone could have tried to make mockery of you or what so what someone meant for evil god meant for good there may have been some truths that have came out from last week it was kind of 
I mean, through the bullshit, that was kind of the moral of the story. We did it anyway, but it was just, I felt the energy surrounding conflict at someone's home last week. I'm also getting on their P's and Q's. I'm also getting karmic balance restored. There may have been people who were conspiring things or doing things to withhold resources from children or to make the lives of children difficult or being negligent of children and karma will be dealt out for those where that resonates throughout this year. If you have experienced some of these things in your childhood, karma will be paid out for sexual assault victims through in the year 2024 at the time which I'm recording or the year in which you're watching this, if you watch this in the future. If you have experienced this, I'm getting that specific message that childhood abusers are going to be put on the forefront. They're going to be exposed in the next seven days. This might be a pedophilia ring that may be exposed. Generally speaking, in the next seven days in the media, or this could be like a family weirdo, a creep. Uh, they finally go, watch my Chester. They finally got Chester on Patreon. If you guys, you guys who already have me subscribe on Patreon, you guys already know about that upload. But uh, going back to that message, they finally got Chester is what they're saying. For some of you guys, this could have been in correlation to someone else in your family. There could have been a child that was abused. And maybe you were seeking justice or trying to understand, trying to, maybe you noticed some behaviors some signs of things and maybe a child has come forth that that has instance where you guys are identifying with that then i'm here to tell you that that will be resolved also someone here could have dated someone i heard accusatory and i'm hearing there's more to the story they want you to know i feel like that message applies to everyone regarding people in general that you may be coming in contact with or that you have come in contact with in the past and I feel like it's in derogatory fashion, a derogatory way. I don't know if this is on this like a celebrity type thing, like we're going to see this on the news or on TV, CNN, I'm seeing CNN, or if this is an energy surrounding, this is major news for you because this has impacted you on a, a significant level. I'm seeing lovely bones for some reason. This could be justice for loved ones who've had masculine that have passed away or that were murdered or who had the life ended prematurely justice for those it kind of like i was seeing people like people underground you ever said they're gonna put you, you ever had the time they're gonna put you under the jail it's that type of energy surrounding like there may be oh we might hear about some prison breaks as well if there are some officials in the government that are being exposed to being attached to some sort of pedophilia ring you will start to notice that there will be lots of coincidences or accidents is what they are saying in the future that distract the public from what is taking place all right intentional propaganda wow it's a lot taking place i'm not sure if this is for the next seven days or this is just for those of you who may watch this video and maybe you never come back until something resonated then you come back or something like that because some of you guys have would have already clicked off when I started talking about the assault, but I just have to get the message out. Protector of children and women, noble people. So I have to give the message as I see it. So without further ado, let's carry on to the message. This is going to represent the divine masculine. This is going to represent the collective mutual energies. It's going to represent this divine feminine at the present moment in, in the next seven days. I'm going to give you guys a closer shot. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off with the divine masculine. We're just going to get the energy. I have mixed up quite a few decks for this reading. We are going to get into the charms at the end, but I did want to pull just a couple cards. Give me one card for the present energy for the divine masculine. If you guys are divine feminines or watching or divine masculines, you can watch for both energies. We do have divine feminine masculine energies within us all. If you find that you're identifying the most with the divine masculine as opposed to the divine feminine, then take what messages what messages excuse me resonate and what doesn't leave the rest. Let's see. The current energy for the divine masculine. That's how they did on this reading. Feel like you dodged a bullet. I don't know. It's a major energy surrounding being having the upper hand after receiving some sort of information. Some of you guys um, could have been hired crazy bitch. Oh, dumbass bitch. Oh, stupid ass bitch. Crazy bitch. <laughs> some of you guys, it could, I don't know if this is baby. I don't know what drama of it. But it almost feels like someone shows their ads or someone shows their. You may get some information about someone that you're dealing with divine masculine. I. Or you could have had. I don't know. It's almost like before you commit to someone or make a decision, someone does something. 
in the last seven days. That may have been what the message was last week because we did talk about that type of energy. That could be just clarifying that because I can see where this divine feminine here looks as if they started this whole fucking operation over here. So it's finally coming down to a common denominator and a conflict. Some of you guys, this could be a breakup that you're going through. This could be like, I don't know. It's, I'm seeing somebody also not replying to a man. It's like somebody here, you can be dating. And somebody do some wild ass shit because you don't respond at the time which they feel like they should. Or someone here thinks that you're going back and forth. I don't know if this is like somebody talking to themselves <laughs> as if they're talking to you or what. But this looks like an obsession. This could be a warning, especially for those of you who have children. What's going on in the next seven days for my divine masculines? Give me a second because we're still going to pull some more cards. Fighting in someone you trust. Seeking guidance in the next seven days. Gain new perspective. Some of you guys, this could be an energy strike. Some of you guys have gotten some readings done. This is like finding out someone put some some magic on someone and my candle blew out. It's like huh, whatever it is, it gave you the ick about someone. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but it's a strong vibe surrounding the next seven days for Divine Masculine. I can see you interacting with someone or reaching out to someone and see if you can trust them. So some of you guys, this can be like you might find out your homie is fucking with somebody you dealing with as an example, right? <laughs> it's like approaching this person to see if how much they are they gonna lie. It's like knowing something in the next seven days and coming to somebody may not be that specific example and coming to someone like a man. I'm hearing just be a man about it. But I feel like you're talking to somebody else. And I feel like this is somebody you have compassion and love for. Somebody you possibly have gotten money with Divine Masculine, right? I'm looking at the colors. This could also be like a college thing. For those of you who are dealing with an AKA, this person here could be crazy. I don't know. This could be somebody's mother figure. This could also be realizing somebody here could be like, damn, every time I get into a relationship, this happens. But every time I tell my mama about somebody I'm dealing with or something like that. Every time somebody meet my mama, they don't want to deal with me no more. It's something to the effect of that if it's not someone that you're dating this can just be somebody high yellow that y'all talking to and this person here could be cuckoo for fucking coco plus divine masculine i can't even fake the fun tell me about the collective message what's going on it's how much they find this reading we're gonna still pull some charms i just want to see something quick very interesting i see you guys meeting up with someone in a public space to try to confront them for something collective energy some of you guys may have felt gaslit in the last seven days um uh, this is like almost reminding me this is like standing in the shower and thinking about what you should have said in the argument type vibe <laughs> that's kind of what i'm getting <laughs> containing your anger maybe feeling as though you are being but you were portrayed as aggressive or that a point wasn't translated properly as the collective message there could have been some conflicts in the past where it's like I don't know you're feeling uncomfortable because maybe you feel like that you exposed too much or something to someone too soon maybe someone isn't responding the way you want them to or maybe it's the energy surrounding maybe you feel like you overshare it's like damn why did i say it why did i do that i don't know what this is about <laughs> we're gonna see in just a second i'm a channel i'm just like pulling the cards out right now tell me what's going on with the vibe feminine time which they find this video <laughs> Stand on business. Stand on business. If that's the hill you want to die on, fine. <laughs> that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Uh, yeah, next seven days, the future for Divine Feminine. <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you're not tripping. <laughs> it's like maybe somebody gas, it's like setting boundaries with somebody and then they, they do some emotional shit like cry in front of you or something like that. And it's like, damn, now I kind of feel, now you got me looking like I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody's upset because you withdrew some energy. That's what this looks like with the Mr. Crab type of vibe. It's like someone here is upset that you are frugal, that you made something work. This is like someone, I don't know, somebody tried to stun on you or what? Somebody tried to flex on you and that shit just didn't work? <laughs> it's like punking somebody. I don't know what this is about. And I'm hearing three is a crowd, so I don't know if somebody last week. Y'all let me know what happened in correlation to last week's video. How it resonated for y'all in a conflict, if it has happened already. Because it feels like that it was maybe a bunch of people around. And it's like exposing someone. Maybe you were supposed to somebody else for being cheap or a penny bitch or under, 
underpaying or under supporting and it's i could say a lot i could do not can really go in i'm only telling you the fourth of it it's like someone here playing it's like some playing victim it's a caring type moment some of you guys may have actually had a caring moment whether you were the Karen or you witnessed it in the last seven days, or it's just like someone here in their entitlement. It's like baloney. <laughs> this is like an energy surrounding taking control of your mind, but also an energy surrounding letting a little bit of maybe there was a moment where anger succumbed you in the last seven days. And I can see where you could be like, I don't know. Because you did this, I know I was spot on. That's the energy divine masculine is it. Divine feminine, I feel like you're more so. I knew that you was, wasn't going to do it right the first time. I just played. I don't know. It's like, it's just playing the game. Divine feminine is more so. It's almost like a seducing or a manipulative type of energy. Divine feminine is flipping someone else's motives to work in our benefit. This is okay. I know that my baby daddy is, is ain't shit. This is just an example. <laughs> so I know if I do, I maneuver with him like this, he'll do that, which would be great because I need to have this stay free so I can do X, Y, and Z. This could also be okay. I know that this guy likes me. I got a bunch of groceries at the end of, in that car. I gotta go upstairs. I need help. Let me da -da -da -da, so I can work the situation in my benefit. It's more, I feel like things that used to offend you, you guys are more passive about it, or you've been able to see things, or maybe you feel as though you saw, it's like I saw a mile away energy. You thought you saw an attack, or if a kid did something, or they tried to like jump on you, or I don't know, you would see it before it happened. <laughs> and even if you didn't, you would still be able to handle it. I feel like I'm talking in like poems. But this last week, I feel like it's been a lot of energy surrounding Someone could have tried to portray themselves as like a savior and it's calling someone blood. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Did you make somebody spend some money on you? Someone may have been trying to act as if they are entitled to some position or maybe brag about something they was doing for you. This is like reminding me of when my sister was watching this movie and this lady was telling her nanny to take the baby or whatever because the baby used the restroom and she was all on tv saying oh a mother that will leave their child isn't a mother at all whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop -whoop -whoop. and the maid gave her her baby back and she got mad because she was pretending it's that type of energy it's like exposing somebody it's like making it's stand on business stand on business that's what i heard when i first got over here to the divine feminine side but it's almost like in the next seven days you might be a little disappointed because the what it's like the side effects of it someone here I also feel like you've been doing a lot of self-love rituals and things of that nature. You may have successfully removed any negative energy that was attached to you from the thanks. With the help of spirit, of course, but any negative energy that may have been attached to you surrounding your appearance and you were feeling insecure, knowing where this shit come from, like, damn, every time I saw so come around, I start feeling bad about my self. I start thinking shit that I don't, this ain't even my thoughts. This could have also been somebody arguing with somebody ugly that dressed well. And putting somebody on the spot, Divine Feminine. That's kind of what I'm seeing um, y'all in in the past seven days. And the next seven days, it's almost like maybe you are regretting some sort of decision. We'll see why. It feels like more so an energy trying to get taken care of. But maybe it's like what comes with this person. If it is a baby daddy. Maybe you're doing X, Y, and Z for the kid. Whoop -de -whoop, but I got to see your ass. I don't really want to see your ass. And you want to talk. And if I sit there and I ain't saying this stupid ass conversation, you'll buy your kids some shit. But it, <laughs> you know, it's stuff like I really would prefer not to talk to you. It's something like that. Uh, whereas I feel like that's the experience or it's like, uh, well, I did call you out for doing, because I asked for this, I can't, it's like, you can't have it both ways it's the next in, in the next seven days. It may even be a transition. It might even be like an energy surround. I thought we were like a fat cat. It's also energy surrounding. Maybe someone here may try to play with you or come to your place or trying to like flirt somebody trying to get your attention and they may come with you in a really sexual way and it might really piss you off in the next seven days i ain't even gonna hold you that's what this is giving me <laughs> i'm also getting a vibe that for those of you who are menstruating stay away from red sauce in the next seven days if you're on your cycle stay away from red sauce or energy surrounding somebody here doing some sort of like this is weird because I was seeing rituals in my visions. Please stop. For those of you who are trying to do love spells where you're using your ministry blood or something like that, that shit is not going to go well for you. It's going to backfire really fast. 
For those of you that's intentionally done. Or this could be somebody that you had sex with on your period coming back. And, oh my God. Boy, you ain't fucked me. You fucked the old body. That was many ovulating cycles ago. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> that's kind of what I was saying to my feminist. Like somebody here coming back thirsty as hell. It's like you might have a new post. Thank you for complimenting me. Let me know I still got one of your brand. But now I see you authentically and you kind of look like a dope thing. This might be reconnected to somebody and they might... Shit, they already speak. Somebody here could be on some shit. I don't know. They might have some tendencies or they might come back in the crackhead's behavior. Or you just might look at them like that, like your crackhead. They just might be, I don't know. You might look at them as immature as hell. I don't know. This, whoever this S is, they are very skinny. Their hair texture is not really even a texture. It's just frizzy. This person might have a box or something like that. This person might have a, a long bridge nose that come out to a point. They may have like really big eyes. This person could be like really shy or introverted. That's who this ex is that might come back and, oh, I wish you well, but please go away. <laughs> it's kind of giving you that. That's kind of how the clue you have because you're cutting. This could be the energy of cutting off negative cycles or going through certain lessons. And because of that, you're going to be tested with certain things that may come back in your reality. Now, the bar mask one. When I'm looking at Charles, it's kind of giving an energy surrounding. I don't know if this is karma. This may be apologizing to somebody. It's maybe coming back. You ever been warned about somebody and didn't take somebody warning and didn't have to reap the consequences? It's maybe having to <laughs> go back and write some. Could it be me? Coming you down. <laughs> Bryson Tiller apologized to somebody in the next seven days. He may have had an epiphany that somebody was right about something or someone all along. Whoever this person is, this person's quirky, weird. This could be this reading. It could also be a vibe surrounding maybe you were dealing with somebody that was super, uh, or something where their mindset was different and it contradicted your reality. And it's casting somebody's beliefs aside because it's different. I don't know if this is somebody that might give you a brochure. Or this might be somebody that wants to get to know you that has a different, or might hand you a pamphlet or something like that. Be, if somebody does that, be open to receiving messages or and taking it and understanding it for yourself. Not just taking it as face value and believing everything they say, but give, give new opportunities, give new ideas a chance in the next seven days. There might be someone that you have come in contact with that may how do i express it this is almost like remembering somebody that helped you along the way after you got there and maybe realizing damn this is like the trope in the movies where it's a guy who wants the popular girl he gets with the popular girl and it's a vibe surrounding that popular girl does some crazy things. Maybe he sees that she's a bitch. She's a mean girl. She's a slut. She's a she's a freak. Got a different every day of the week. It's cool. Not trying to pull a rush on you. I have to let you know that I got a crush on you. This person may have been, for my divine feminine, your divine masculine may have been chasing someone in the past that didn't want them or that maybe was portraying themselves as being genuine in their life and this person has been exposed. That could have been the, the weird bitch cosplaying as you with her period blood and shit. That type of weird stuff. And it's like, really? People still doing that? Yes, bitches. Bitch, people got TikToks and shit and think they got the encyclopedia to spirituality type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I think that someone here is awakening to someone. I don't know. People will have clarity with what they want and what they need. That's just kind of what I'm getting. The veil is being lifted from the divine masculine. I see this divine masculine approaching this female and asking them because look at the Dorothy slippers, bro. That's what it's getting me, the Dorothy slippers. And it's like consulting from the future. It's like going back and recalling something. But she had to be out the whole time. I also thought about the, I'm thinking about the witch that flew off when the house fell down on her. It's that type of vibe. That's the energy. That's the, that's the linking factor. Realizing who, damn, as soon as this bitch came into my life, all this shit started crashing down for me. It's finally understanding link. When I, when I fucked over that person, all this shit, damn, somebody told me maybe that was the energy. Maybe you warned somebody, nigga, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Some of you people think that they can just say, oh, my ancestors don't play with me. Their ancestors had no hands. In real life, ain't got shit in the past life. But y'all, it's different, especially for my divine feminine. It's a lot of energy surrounding 
learning a lesson, a big karmic lesson in closing your cycle. But maybe you have you're wanting to have a closure conversation, or maybe somebody here comes back around you. You haven't let them know that you've had that epiphany yet. Interesting. Very interesting. Wow. If I'm a I see y'all listen to some ride wave music in the next day. <laughs> or just some sad music in general. This may be somebody, it's like finding out somebody may have been opportunity that wanted you for your money, Divine Feminine. Somebody that you probably got a lot of pictures with and shit like that, Divine Masculine. Somebody could have gave you something too. I don't know why I'm here for a locos. I don't know. Hold on. Because I'm laying out the charms. Divine Masculine. I think that there was somebody that you were sexually intimate with. This person here, I don't know if this person either has a hair weave business, they wear a lot of weave, or this person here could have been somebody that they got a smell to them. Like, and I don't feel like it's a good smell. It's like, this person here could have developed some sort of like odor. I don't know, like a yeast infection, something like that. This could be somebody that you, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a domesticated vibe though. It's somebody that you have been around for a while. Somebody that you've known for quite some time, dealt with through different bodily changes. <laughs> I don't know if this person's just, I don't know. It's somebody like that because they're just showing me the ice cream, the corn right next to the hairspray bottle and the dog food. I don't know why I just feel like this could also be somebody that you cheated on in a way. This is somebody that you accept flaws and all because you feel like they accept you flaws and all. This would be like your dummy. Somebody that I feel like you have an in and out relationship with. This could also have been somebody that you have, oh Lord, this is getting real fucking get up on abortion with or something like that. I don't just decide get out. I'm looking at the milk and the banana in the food. I don't know. This is like somebody that either you try to have kids with this person and it just never happened, or this person later, well, something, let me just say it like that. You, you probably try to have kids with this person and it just never happened. I keep it like that. This could be somebody that could have faked pregnancies for some of you guys. This shit is bananas. B A N A N A S. This shit is bananas. This person could have been blonde, or this person here could have just been. I don't know. You could have somebody. This could have been somebody that was obsessed with you, that had fake pregnancies like they did with you in the past, stalked you, and it's like something's not added up. Maybe this person here portrayed themselves as more well off than what they were. Some of you, I'm getting a major energy surrounding somebody you were dealing with that was kind of loose. This person here, I, it's like finding out somebody's true identity. I don't know how to explain it because this is like a, with this pineapple. This is where I made pineapple party because it's right there by the mixed berry and, and I'm thinking the cupcake and the tomato soup right in the right. And the tomato soup is in reverse, y'all. This is something I'm telling you guys. If you got had a divine masculine where this person just started acting weird, for some of you all, this could definitely be energy surrounding. Somebody could have put some of their ministry blood in some damn tomato soup. Somebody over here was doing some real shit behind the scenes to keep a masculine and even involve some sort of like tomato soup or some sort of period bullet. This person could have been, this person likes to wear braids. I would say that they wear a lot of braids. I feel like this is somebody that wasn't solely committed to them either. This could be somebody that collects Starbucks cups and shit. Like, this is that type of bitch. I don't know. This person here is somebody that don't really have a personality. That's kind of what they're showing me. I feel like this is definitely somebody who gets their entire identity from the internet. This is somebody who, your person maybe somebody who has a lot of clout or something like that. Because it's almost like this person here just wanted to be in the, the loving, I'm here loving the crew. This person, your person may have, like somebody's divine masculine or divine masculine, this could have been you. You may have fell for somebody and realized that she's a hoe, right? And this person could have a baby face and everything. I also feel like somebody here, this person isn't, there's somebody you're dealing with that ain't telling the whole truth about who they are. I'm hearing you, you milking it. You, you paying the story, you paying the picture to make yourself look stable and make yourself look like the good guy and everybody's bad. You might get to know somebody or reconcile somebody in the next seven days. And as you're talking to them, you can just realize that this person here is portraying themselves to be a victim at all kinds of times. Never a victor or anything like that. It's like this person here is also mean. They justify their mean behavior by the shit that they've been through. It's that type of bitch. And this person could have poor hygiene as well. Collective. Let's see what the fuck is going on. For those of you who have daughters, I can see your daughter being very clingy and attached to you in the next seven days for sure. As uh, where it applies, I don't know why I'm getting this, but shit, if you get it, what's that called? Fuck. What is it? I think it's called like wick. Some of you guys may be able to get to get approved or something like that discreetly. 
or be or qualify for some sort of food assistance or you guys like something being protected something is locked in i don't know somebody getting like a approved this is a collective energy this could just be in general for those of you who are having issues with buying food this could be something like you might end up getting approved for some sort of assistance regarding eating or this is a resource given to you or someone here might just naturally come and bring you some items when you need things so if there's any sort of uh, fear surrounding scarcity in food don't even worry about it I, I see that not being an issue really avoid buying orange juice in the next seven days it's not gonna be good where's the air sign that is piecing together a story and he's obs he's observing his thoughts he has a certain there's an air sign we have an air sign masculine here in the chat i see an air sign masculine really getting to the point to where he pieces together who's for who's not somebody's putting a battery to my back somebody here i feel like this person here because this is a suck or a puss like this person here why do i feel like somebody here may have like i don't know if this is you or this person completely moved himself from being around people i really see how people act who fuck with them who ask about them, how people deal with them, what they don't got. So it's like somebody came for like a real, a, a realization about the company that they keep. Somebody here has also been working on themselves as well. I don't know. I feel like an air sign is feeling gas. Oh, I feel like an air sign is feeling gaslit by someone in the next seven days, and it's like he's calling. It's like calling somebody out for doing something. Cause this looks like a sound, somebody make when you call it on nigga. I didn't do that. That's kind of what this is giving. And it, I don't like the fact that this is like, I don't know. Somebody's privy to some information, but they're withholding it on purpose. From an air sign or an air sign that's pressuring someone to tell the truth about something. Something to do with tomato soup. This is also like spilling the beans about something. I feel like there's energy surrounding somebody got made to be, I don't know, this is a goofy. A goofy has been exposed or will be exposed in the next seven days. And something about this fucking tomato. Something about red fucking sauce. I'm telling you. This, it, I, I can't deny it. It's some sort of like ritual. For those of you who are in relationships, you're married or something like that. Or you have a divine union. Those who have tried to separate divine unions will be dealt with in the next seven days. We, we will receive some sort of karma. They will be exposed and humiliated in the next seven days. It's just the reality of it. Mm-hmm. People are getting called out. Restraining orders could be put out against people as well, like protective orders. This could be somebody getting kicked out. Maybe somebody put a spell on some masculine so they can have a place to stay. They're going to get removed from their space. This could also be someone here who was um, manipulating funds or depriving you of certain things, like basic necessities is what this looks like. This is food, water, and bread. You need that shit <laughs> right here. Somebody here who trying to make things difficult will be dealt with. So I don't know. This could also be shit. A boycott that takes place in the next seven days where it's shit. It's something to do with inflation. Something's going to work out. Somebody may give you, I'm hearing a subsidy or something like that. I don't know. Somebody here's going to get a, a little puppy soon. In the next seven days. Could be a girl puppy. It might be warmer than what it's been in the next seven days in your area as well. Let's look at the divine feminine side. <laughs> All right, good. Oogly moogly. That thing is juicy. <laughs> ah, divine feminine. What is going on? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of shit going on over here, divine feminine. What is going on? What is going on? Make sure y'all keeping y'all environments clean because I can see where some of you guys could be seeing. I don't know. This gives unwanted gifts, but these are not even like, this ain't even giving like ants or nothing like that. This is giving something like big ass spiders and shit or raccoons and shit. It's like if you were staying in the country or something, you probably need to make sure that you are closing certain doors. You might come in contact with an animal that you probably never thought you would come in contact with in the next seven days. Some of you guys, I ain't gonna lie, you might end up having sex with somebody in the next seven days. Dude. I see somebody knocking the boots. <laughs> be careful. Wrap it up, because this can be some of you guys are baby making it in the next seven days. Somebody's like nickname could be Tootie. This person may give you some information. Be on the lookout for that. Someone like a, or a sibling, because that's my like sister's nickname. A sibling could give you some information, shed light on something, they could tell you some tea. A predator is being exposed. There's a fucking alligator right by the bill. That's what I'm getting. A predator is being exposed. This person could have been born in the fall. It's nothing to do with children. Share secret or sex fantasy. 
This could have been, this was like a, an innocent, something was sacrificed, a child sacrificed, an innocent child. Somebody, I'm telling you, a pedophile is going to get exposed. Somebody close to you, it, could, it might be called out by a child. This child could be fair skinned. You say, it, hold on, y'all. Hey, guys, I'm back. So a lot of messages about spiritual law and spiritual prosecution that is taking place this year. There may be people who will try to bribe you to keep certain information to yourself. There's a fat person that is sick that's going to be exposed from certain dark paths, maybe paying for some people. Yeah. This person here has a pot belly. There may be someone who fits that description that is of some sort of leadership or a status that is going to get exposed for being a predator. A lot about what was done in the dark has come to the light. For some of you, there may be a child that is exposed, a pastor had on someone else. There may be the type of energy as well in the next seven days. OJ Simpson might do something really fucking stupid in the next seven days to where it's like just, just to remind people that he's still alive and make a joke about some shit that's like totally not funny. Just a yeah, or you gotta see a video like that, Devon of something old that he may have said or done. Be careful. You are very fertile in the next seven days, Devon Fibbin. Be very careful. If you are sleeping with someone or dating someone, keep it to yourself. There are some a lot of people who want the person that you have. There are a lot of people who want your partner or this person that is interested in you. See lots of sexual activity in the next seven days. You might even go out on a date. Something about um a cornerstone or a, I don't know I don't know it might be a conspiracy that comes out about the Potter's house I don't know allegedly or a cornerstone church or something like that or a pinnacle church maybe a preacher in your neighborhood or from your area somebody here has a stalker divine feminine I think I said that in the last reading you this person is going to be exposed to you in the next seven days it's also going to be exposed to you who was ever trying to siphon off of your beauty or copy your looks or anything like that that's going to be exposed to you in the next seven days. Some of you might get smoked out or you might get lit or go out with friends or go out with someone and this person may cater a lot of things to you. They may try to, they might try to show off on you but it may be un uninspiring. Somebody might take you out on a date or ask you out but this person, their breath could not be fresh. <laughs> their breath could stink. Or it's the energy surrounding, like they have smoker's lips. There could also be a celebrity. This could be something about Tokyo Tony could go viral again or something. I'll be honest with you. Just a random message. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a masculine who has been watching you and has been collecting information about the things that you like. And they may propose you something. They may even come with some uh, information that you've been wanting to hear. It might be some information that you, well, need to hear, but don't want to hear. Somebody might come clean about something. Some of you guys, I don't know why I'm getting energy surrounding like an evil stepmother line. There may be somebody here um, that gets exposed for uh, witchcraft. Somebody here put witchcraft on children. Now, that could be like, maybe if you, your kids have like, siblings that have other parents and stuff like that, that could be that witchcraft energy to my opinion I was getting. Well, one parent was trying to make it to where the other person's kids wouldn't be more successful than theirs or something like that or siphoning off of their beauty or making them feel insecure or maybe even cloaking them. Maybe you're doing a beauty ritual or something like that. You're going to see somebody in your past that used to bully you or abuse you again and they're going to be in really bad shape. There are going to be some baby witches out here who are just going to start to lose their mind and start looking crazy as shit. Shit crazy. Like they're going to lose all of their glow. Is going to be able to clear. He, God is saying it's going to be very obvious to know his people, his like women <laughs> who are his, his people. It'll be very obvious because they have a glow to them. Someone may give you Devon Fitman in some money to get your hair done, uh, or you guys may have some money. But that's just kind of the energy I'm getting. Someone may give you some money to get your hair done, if I'll be honest. Or to treat yourself on something cosmetic. Somebody might buy you like some jewel, offer you a commitment. Somebody here might even go to the nail shop in the next seven days. Somebody from Louisiana um, is getting exposed from manipulating the mask I heard shucking and jiving. But it might be somebody from, you know what? Boosie might go to jail in the next seven days. Or he might get into like, a, it might be like Instagram or Facebook jail. Or it could be little or jail. Somebody, or if it's not Boosie, it's just somebody could be from Louisiana. Who this person is, or this is just somebody that's too grown or too old to be doing things. Martha speaks. A child is going to speak up about a truth 
I'm a toxic mother. That goes with my resident, my message, my channel message earlier. In the next seven days, what I can see is people could be all up in your finances trying to figure out how you have the means to do something or how you're able to do something. Be mindful. It might be somebody who's trying to be your friend, but this person really just wants to copy your sweat. They're uh, drawn to what you do creatively, and this person is just somebody who's thirsty for attention. I don't like nobody just like that. I don't like, I just really don't like people that much in my energy or my business. So that shit gonna piss me off. Nobody here, maybe you overshare with this person or some energy surround this person here or someone who uh, is trying to gain information about you to possibly get cloud off later. This person here could have a pear shape, or this person here could be somebody that's, I don't know. They could possibly be trying to pair themselves up with you for a business opportunity or a business venture because this person here sees that you're going places. This person here is, I don't know how to explain it. Somebody here has like a mother wound and that they're trying to feel through somebody else. This person tries to portray themselves as like super genuine, super kind, super nurturing. Somebody that you can vent to. But I feel like this is definitely somebody you need to protect yourself from in the next seven days, if I'm being honest. It's like a P.S. I love you. It's like also like keep a certain, maybe you have to keep more secrets. It's like calming through this refined tuning of the things that you share with people. Keep some things close. When you have a clutch, it's only a certain amount of things that you can go in that clutch and it's right by the black obsidian. Thank you for the confirmation. It's by a comb in the brush. Making sure that you're keeping things short with people. People ask you how you get things. You're blessed. The end. Blessed. You're just blessed by the grace of God. Let that be your answer for everything because it's the truth. Somebody's getting kicked out. I hate to say it. Like, somebody's getting kicked out for being corny and doing, like, love spit. I'm telling you, it's like a masculine is kicking out a female who tried to keep him through magic. This could also be somebody that tried to manipulate them through sex or passion or your looks, something like that. Or a child. Somebody's cooking somebody, to, kicking somebody to the, like, the curb. And they're doing so cold-bloodedly. They might even tell this person that they've been cheating or that they've been it's like a harsh argument it's like a, a very mean disruption or disconnect somebody comes somebody's very mean to someone that they're kicking to the curb or walking away from if this is somebody that has done this to you I'm, i feel the message to say this person received karma it's like if somebody left for the masculine left you for another feminine that person is now kicking that person to the curb because they brought them through a lot this is the wheel of fortune right here some of you guys, there could be an air sign that you met at a coffee shop that could be <sighs> significant in the next seven days. I just don't know how. It's like, I don't know, I'm also giving some message about the promise land. Some of you guys are being, like, if you God ever promised you that other people would get their, well, he's promised all of his people that, that he would prepare a table <laughs> in the presence of our enemies. It's given that. I hate this. I don't really hate to say it, you know what I'm saying? It's given that. But it's like a long, a drum roll. Because this right here, the drums, the bongos are upside down. That's like, it's like anticipate. Something that you've been waiting for is finally finna happen. This is 9-1-0. Something to do with the police. Something to do with family, something to do with like your stability is about to change for the better. So a lot that's unfolding. Confirmation. Somebody's gonna get caught. There's a masculine stuck with his P out. Exactly. P and then the, the stylus is broken and the point is out. And it's right on top of the bacon. And this person this person is fat. And it's probably gonna be at a mall or something like that. Somewhere where it's a food court or it's kids and shit. Like a McDonald's or some shit. Weird shit. Somebody gonna get exposed or caught up for peeking on kids. It's a peeping fucking time out here. If you lost a pet, this pet may come home. If your your pet wandered off, you lost your pet, it may come home. Somebody that's been watching you, this person feel like a smoke a lot of weed. This person been watching you from a distance, they may reveal themselves. Y'all might have sex in the next seven days. You might get done up. I can see that. See somebody smelling like pina colada, some sort of fruits. Somebody might try to take somebody. If you like pina colada, rain. It's <laughs> like that. You might hear that song in the next seven days. You got somebody may offer to take you out. This could feel like a vacation. Some of you guys may go on a date and spend the night somewhere and wake up for someone else. Maybe not a different person, but like wake up in a bed with someone other than yourself or your partner. This, you, some of you guys may make like a sex tape. 
or take some sexy photos. I mean, somebody here either has a photo shoot. Somebody here is doing a lingerie photo shoot. It is Valentine's Day just coming up, so that could be what it is. Make sure you have your windows closed, your blinds closed. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get exposed for having a drug habit as well. This is this is supposed to be a makeup brush, but it's like a spoon. And it's right underneath the nose. Be careful. Somebody might come towards you high as hell. High as hell. Trying to fuck. And they first and here, they probably on that shit. So be mindful of that. And they said that this is like something that we're going to hear about. Somebody in the industry that's right behind the bubbles could be a male prominent in the industry that is that has done things manipulating young boys. I can see that as well transpiring in the next seven days. But these are all the messages I've been getting for you guys. Let me know how it resonates when it comes to past. Oh, that was a juicy reading, right? If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And comment down below anything that you're interested in seeing moving forward on this channel. Again, I am on Patreon. And I'm offering a free trial for exclusive extended readings and exclusive Patreon content. We do a lot of freak nasty videos for those of you who are interested in 18 plus readings. But we also offer sometimes occasionally free personal readings for those who are on Patreon. And oftentimes we, I do collective messages and we do the Holly Weird series where we get the tea on what's going on in the celebrity world what's going on with the you know your favorite artists etc etc so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thank you guys so much for supporting me i love you guys to the moon and back and around all socials and this will be your reading talk to you guys later bye